Hi, I'm Brittany Snow, and this is your skim on the science behind snow. A little on the nose, but it's okay. Before you start making snow puns about my last name, the weather conditions have to be pitch perfect. <laughs> Doop -doo. Here's how it works. Step one, it forms. This all starts with moisture in the air. Every snowflake has hundreds of billions of molecules of water inside of it. We're talking winter here, so it has to be at or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When this wet, cold combo happens way up in the atmosphere, moisture freezes into snow crystals. They turn into snowflakes. The more crystals, the heavier the flake. And when a flake gets just heavy enough, it falls. Snowflakes always have six sides, kind of like your ex's personality. And no two snowflakes are ever the same. They can be as small as a centimeter or up to 10 inches, which has nothing to do with my ex's. So it's falling from the sky at a couple miles an hour. Now what? Step two, snow stays on the ground under two conditions. When it's at freezing on the ground, no problem, or the first few flakes create an ice cold layer that the rest of the flakes settle on. Every year in the US, about one septillion snowflakes fall to the ground. If this makes you want to crawl under your bed and cry, you probably have Keanophobia. That has nothing to do with Keanu Reeves. Step three, it has a type, just like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> if it's dry snow, meaning small flakes that fall through the dry air, you should go skiing. This is the type of snow called powder. If it's wet snow, meaning flakes melt around the edges and fall through the warmer air, you should probably go make a snowball and throw it at a troublemaker. <laughs> it's a pitch perfect joke from the first movie. And now you know the science behind all that white stuff. Fun fact, snow is actually colorless, but because of how the light refracts, you see it as white. Not to be flaky, but I'm out of here. One pun too many, I'm out of here.